I've been waiting a good while to do this review and I've been putting in a lot of time and research. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at a package from Shivworks. We're gonna be looking at the El Nino, the El Nino trainer, the Omni sheath, and talking about a lot of things. Stick around. hope you're doing well my friend I want to encourage you to stick around to the end of the video because it's going to be divided up into three parts part one is specifications and facts part two is going to be all about carry options which is a very important part of the review and lastly we're going to dive into some training now the El Nino is very similar to the full-size push dagger that they have but it's smaller for more concealability and comfort one of the reasons this design came about was women had started inquiring about a push dagger with a bit of a smaller handle, you know, as well as people with smaller frames. That's not to say that people with larger frames or larger hands can't carry and use this because they can, but that was one of the key motives behind this design. Now let's take a quick look at the contents of our review. This is your El Nino here and the sheath that it comes with. Here is your trainer and its sheath, and here's the Omni sheath. We're really going to be diving into this. This is an extraordinary accessory right here. There's a lot of things that makes the El Nino stand out among a lot of other push knives. And a lot of thought went into this design. The El Nino has been tested and carried by special forces, SWAT, and law enforcement. This is perfect for covert everyday carry. And you don't have to have a lot of training with something like this. If you can throw a punch, you can use the El Nino. You're gonna be working with a punch that's got a blade on the end of it. It's 12C27 steel with a nice grippable G10 handle here. I saw something the other day I consider very insightful regarding the difference between Micarta and G10. You know, Micarta has a tendency to absorb things like blood, oil, and it ends up becoming almost a slippery surface. One of the things that's great about G10 is that it can be textured to feel like Micarta without getting slippery. Another great feature of this handle is it's not gonna roll in your hand. There's a lot of things that can be used as a push dagger. You can take a little round handle, drive a nail through it, you got a push dagger, you've got key you can use it as a push dagger but it just doesn't have the same security and a lot of those things will roll in the hand i also want to draw attention to the fact that i know there's you know new models out there that transform from like a pocket knife into a push dagger but they've got all of these moving parts i've spent some time looking into these knives that transform from a pocket knife to a push dagger and i just feel like there's too much at stake in the real world to stray from a fixed blade when you're in a real life conflict, maybe fighting multiple attackers, you know, up close fighting, you know, running into things like bones, it just really changes the game. And although these things may, may look fancy and they may look cool, when it comes down to a real world scenario, you're gonna need something sturdy. You've got an overall length of four and seven eighths inches, but your blade length is 2.75. The El Nino comes also with an ambidextrous setup. Which takes us into our next portion of this review, which is carry. We buy knives that we think are cool, but what we discover is they're just not good everyday carry blades. It's some issue with the sheath, some issue with comfort, concealability, maybe it's not ambidextrous. What I like most about Shivworks and the blades they design is that they have all of these things in mind. They address all of these issues. They design blades and sheaths that can be carried comfortably, that can be accessed easily and prepared for the real world. So let's dive into the sheaths now. These are the sheaths that they come with. Now these are very nice and you can set these up in a variety of ways, but the Omni sheath is very much next level and I'm going to be showing you why. Now the ones they come with have really tight retention. They're in there nice and tight. Before we go any further, I want to have a little bit of real talk when it comes to sheaths, because I think it needs to be said. Sheaths are a big deal. They're the reason why we buy so many knives and we don't carry them, we don't use them, and we end up getting rid of them. Now, I know I've done a lot of advocating on my channel with regards to budget blades, and I always will for those who are genuinely on a budget. I want to review a wide variety of products for people who can afford different things. I review things according to their price point and give my vote for or against it. But I have to push back a little bit to those who say, you know, these things cost too much. And here's why I push back. You know, by the time we buy 10 different knives, 
with 10 different sheaths that don't work for us, we could have just saved our money and got something that we would actually carry every day. So just keep that in mind as we go through this review. I mean, how many knives are you gonna buy before you find something that you can actually carry? Going forward, I'm gonna talk mostly about the Omni sheath, but you know, as far as the factory sheath that these come with, like I said, they got great retention, they're nice. You can make adjustments with this if you want to, whether you wanna carry it upright or you wanna carry it at a, you know, horizontally or maybe even at a downward diagonal type of way. So it's a great sheath, but I just think it's worth it to invest in the Omni sheath, and I'm gonna tell you all the reasons why. My favorite feature right off the bat is the fact that you can put the El Nino and the trainer in the Omni sheath. It can be carried ambidextrous, and this discreet clip could even allow women to hook this thing to yoga pants. If you notice all of these screws, there's many adjustments that can be made. Now, I wanna show you these up top. You can change these to even tighten the retention even more. This is how it comes in the factory. Now, I think the factory retention is good, but if you want tighter retention, you can move these screws upward to tighten the retention. Now, this set of screws here allows for the adjustment of the height of the clip and for the cant or the angle. You might want to set this up at a different angle. Well, you can do that by adjusting these screws here. Here's another thing I want to show you. There's not a lot of room between my finger and the top of this sheath. Now, I can get a grip. It works. But let me show you something with the Omni sheath. But look at the room that I get there with the Omni sheath, the extra room between my hand and the sheath. Easy access. Now there's a lot of different ways I can go about mounting this, but I wanna show you this pocket carry up close here. I mean, if I had a long t-shirt, I could just cover that up perfectly. But even if not, that's not tacky. Easy access. You can go right inside the waistband. Still very easy access. Testing the comfort level inside the waistband, bending down, comfortable standing up, lifting my leg. Pretty comfortable all in all. Now don't take this the wrong way, but if you got a big belly, you're probably gonna to wanna to do pocket carry or carry on your side. I personally find the side carry very comfortable. You could hook it to your belt or your jeans or yoga pants, jogging pants, whatever you got. But we've gotta be able to carry our blades comfortably and access them easily in a time of need. And this is why I can say with full confidence that if you're serious about your survival and you're serious about your defensive combative effectiveness, do consider the Omni Sheath if the El Nino has got your attention. But if you can't go with the Omni Sheath, this will still treat you well. It's an ambidextrous option. You can put this loop on either side. Like I said, belt carry, side carry, horizontal carry. There's just a lot of different things that you can do with it. Another thing too is the handle on a push knife is very easy to conceal. So I believe it's a win-win for you either way, however you decide to carry this. But that Omni Sheath, man, that thing's hard to beat. Now for the fun part, we're gonna get into some training. If you're gonna carry these blades, you need to train with these blades. Some of the clips I'm gonna include is training I've been doing over the last few weeks. Some of it's been with a live blade. Some of it has been with the trainer using Bob. What I like about using Bob is he gives you the opportunity to feel some impact. This blade is good for those who have little training and a lot of training, because it's not just a piercing object, it's also a slicing object. In this video, you're gonna have an opportunity to see a lot of both, some boxing with the blade, some slicing with the blade, the ability to grab the blade, deploy it quickly and go to work, but you're also gonna see some combos. This first clip is me training with Bob, just training on quick deployment and putting together some combinations. I've got the trainer right here, and I feel like this thing is a must in the long run if you're gonna carry this blade. And one of the most simple things to think about is the fact that this is an extension of your hand. You know, whether it's an extension of your right cross, an extension of a deep shovel hook here, or even just a, a regular hook. Things that you can do with your fist, just imagine this being an extension of that. This next clip is just doing some strikes with a live blade and some free flow as far as piercing slashing combos. There's a lot of depth that we could go into with regards to training with this blade, but Again, I want to re-emphasize that you don't have to have a lot of training to 
defend yourself with an item like this, but you can build on that. I think one of the most important things with training is just learning how to deploy it quickly, for one thing, how to get to it. That's important because life's not going to allow as much time. Now, there are ways to draw it quicker than others. For me, I like the pocket carry, which makes it very quick for me to be able to deploy mine. But if you did inside the waist, it's a matter of getting here and getting here. You just have to train it. Another thing I'd like to point out is a lot of push daggers fit in between these two fingers here. Well, the El Nino goes between your index and your middle finger, which I think is so much better because when you're punching, the focus is here. And this grip allows you to keep the focus in the right place. Another thing to take note of is it's going to be very difficult for someone to get this out of your hand. One of my biggest fears with untrained people, especially when it comes to knives and self-defense, is the danger of having that knife taken from them and used against them. Especially in cases where you're going up against somebody much stronger than you. You have so many options with this. It's built for battle. It's stationed firmly in your hand, giving you great retention and the ability to flow. Not only is this an extension of your boxing in so many different angles, but you can also transition out of boxing strikes into slash strikes. You can even do back thrusting. All right, my friend, that brings us to the end of the review. There's so much more that we could talk about, but I wanna leave room for some discussion in the comments. Do you have any blades from ShivWorks? What do you think about them? Do you carry them every day? What's been your experience? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. I believe the El Nino is another home run hit, especially if you're able to pick up that trainer in the Omni Sheaf. And I wanted to throw out another reminder as well. A couple of weeks ago, I did an up close review on the Clinch Pick 2.0 and the 2.0 Black Double Edge. I think you'll enjoy that as well. In the description section, I'll be dropping links to everything we reviewed in this video. I'll even drop the Clinch Pick reviews and even the link to the review that I did on the Clinch Picks. As always, thank you so much for watching. You can expect more reviews from 411 Outdoors with regards to ShivWorks knives because I'm a fan and be on the lookout for those. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.